नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू एस डी एम मल्टी मीडिया स्टूडियोज एंड आई हार्टली वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस कोर्स ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट्स वन इन दिस टूडे सेशन और इन दिस क्लिप वी टूगेदर विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द वेरी बेसिक्स ऑफ वॉट आर द मेटीरियल्स डिजाइन कंसिड्रेशन स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड कोर्ट्स यूज इन डिजाइनिंग द मशीन एलिमेंट दैट्स वे comes with any sort of elements okay so first is to understand the metals yes metals are, should be such that it should be very useful to the technological accepts i will take you later like what all those technological accepts but prior to that metal should be abundantly available easily and should be very cost effective so for which again uh, the metal can be defined in such way an engineering material is an is an a A material in a solid state whose uh, properties are technologically useful, as I said earlier, and engineering materials includes metals and non-metals. Try to understand like what all these commonly used metals and commonly used non-metals. So for which yes, we try to understand what are those metals. So one is iron, as you could see here, this is an iron, known to everyone. Iron, what all we use for? We use for many uses, many things. We go with using the irons. so next would be steel you know very well again what is steel for every construction for even for plumbing purpose everywhere we go with steel so again some as a brass again i won't categorize over here as a ferrous and non ferrous i just said that these are all the metals commonly used metals brass and uh, some as a copper and again uh, some as a lead again aluminum this is a very common uh, known to each and every one of you aluminum as we abundantly use because of its uh, very good properties technological properties right so we use this aluminum all the way and uh, titanium because of its hardness we uh, nowadays it's very quite common in adding up this titanium into a material to make a composites we are not talking anything there the composite over here because composite is the one where the materials have been added together to tailor the properties again so uh, another one would be in a chromium yeah this is the one chromium how it does it how the chrome looks like and uh, nickel is this and there are many other some materials i won't talk about the composites again if you could uh, join in two other metals again it turn out to be one more composite material which is tend to be again another composite material or a metal so some again we go with in non metals abundantly whenever i say name some non metal in your in the mind first come is a plastics because such a big impact the plastics has made to us so plastic just imagine a world without a plastic box so therefore the first category where i tightly put into would be a plastic so this is the one so where you could go through you know the plastic plastic chairs plastic doors everything wherever you should call the world you would see around 90% of things would be made up of a plastic just imagine a world without a plastic i don't know how how it could be imagined so next would be the rubber yes rubber is also another material non metal again non metal so this is a very commonly used non metals right so one thing need to be taken or all to be considered is whenever i choose anything such that a metal or non metal it should be abundantly available very cheap and good should possess a good properties technological properties again so next would be the properties now as i say like what would be the some common properties what we uh, look into whenever i choose a metal or non metal into designing the machine element so one would be the elasticity so i would like to uh, simply explain that whenever you deform or you put a load on it and if you remove the load it return back its position as you could see in this uh, particular uh, figure uh, that the woman is putting a load over it the metal undergo deformation and when she remove the load it just goes back to its original position so that sends out with the elasticity so next would be yes hardness so it's very related to the plastic indentation over the material so if i say a scratch over a material so the what are the uh, thing that you see a scratch that reflects the hardness of any material so there where the plastic indentation takes place so next would be uh, toughness so toughness would be repeatedly impacting over some material it resists it so you could see over here the repeatedly impacting of a uh, using a hammer over a metal and the other uh, section you can see that the metal breaks up so the whatever the that accepts acceptance of that material uh, the load or the blow acceptance of the metal would be in related to toughness i am saying again i am just correlating everything with a simple examples where or what we can see in across so next would be uh, plasticity which is an quite opposite to the elasticity so plasticity is the one 
whenever you put a load, doesn't dig in back its position. I could see, oh yeah, the load, you put a load and there goes a change in uh, shape. So it doesn't detach back. So that property is said to be plasticity. So next would be a ductility. So ductility is some ability of a material to thinning into a thin wire. As you could see over here, that first case where uh, the uh, metal has been put, uh, fixed between two jaws, I would given a pull, it turned out to be in a thin wire. The best example, what I like to call it over is chewing gum. What you got to chew and then we had to pull it down, the, that ability of uh, getting that whole metal into thin wire, we can uh, correlate that into a ductility. So this is one property again. So next would be brittle, brittle best example would be in a glass. So whenever you put a load, it just gives off and uh, doesn't return back its. The, it's just like directly metal into plastic resin, gives off, just gives off. The best example would be a glass. So uh, these are the common properties where we like in, uh, in engineering materials before designing it. So I choose these properties depending upon what purpose I'm going to design that particular element and for what application. That's very important, right? So next would be like what all design consideration that comes in across. Now these are the one where I consider before designing an element. First would be its yield point. So I could record this with this sketch. As you can see, that's the stress and strain, both the uh, x and y axis. There is one proportionality line over there. So we call that even as a hook cycle within the elastic limit, the stress is directly proportional to strain. So this is an elastic limit that sends out within the elastic limit. So that point comes in. And after that, whatever the reason that goes, it would be in a plastic reason. So the point at where this elastic reason transformation takes place to a plastic reason, that point we call as an yield point and that would be in a yielding. Right? That way the yielding of the metal takes place in case of ductile metals. I won't say this particularly within a brittle material. So next would be by fracture. Yes, by fracture, if you could consider there of a three mode, one is mode one, mode two, and mode three. As you could see right over here, one is mode one would be in an opening, mode two, mode two would be in a plane shear, and mode three will be out of a plane shear. So it's it just moves off, it just moves off. This is in a mode three, and mode two somewhere it, it, it moves in this way, and uh, mode one is on opening. It's just an opening. We reflect that with a, a fracture. So the third one would be by bending deflection, very simple way to understand. I consider this in a cantilever beam, one at fixed end, another one is movement, at where the load is applied and the whole beam will undergo a deflection. That deflection where you can see over there is in a bending deflection. So next would be the wear, uh, surface wear and tear. This happens by the rubbing action. When the two uh, materials or materials rub to together, the surface undergo a a metal removal will be taking place at the bottom of the surface. So that uh, relates to surface wear and tear. So the best example of this would be the brake shoe that you use in your vehicles. So that undergo a lot of uh, surface wear and tear. And uh, next one would be the buckling and column action. This reflects the buckling. So you can see in the sketch that whenever there is an, a column over there, you put a load, it undergo a buckling. So this action would say it as a buckling. So these are design considerations where we need to take care before or while we go to design an element. Whether that element which undergoes such uh, uh, things, so any one of this thing will be there before we go to design for a machine element. So that these are the very basic things where we need to know in. So last one would be environmental and chemical corrosion. So this is an one which happens because of the moisture content in a system or in a environment which converts this. This case shows you how this uh, reaction takes place. This environmental chemical reaction is another way we commonly call it as a corrosion. So next would be the standards and uh, codes, which has been commonly used by the uh, internationally or the, by everyone that is an engineers. So stand is a set of a specification for parts and material uh, or the process intended to achieve uniformly uh, efficiency and a specific or a specified quality. And the code is a set of specification for analysis, design and manufacture. So some of the standards uh, and uh, codes we, which comes in uh, existence or Aluminium Association, AA, so Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, American Geneva Manufacturing Association, American Institute of Steel Construction, American Society for Metals, uh, British Standards Institute, American Society for Mechanical Engineers, such that in follows like American Institute Standards, ANSI, <coughs> and uh, International <coughs> Standards Organization, International Bureau of Weights and Measurement, and Indian standards. So these are some of the standards where we use in across. So in the forthcoming uh, video, I will take you to some other uh, basic consideration of uh, while designing and machine elements. Thank you.